You've been isolated for 25 years in a vault. A new world opens from the Great War. Nothing is what it seems in Tales from the Appalachian Wasteland. In today's episode, we explore a quaint little campground, not far from where you emerged. Not quite sure about this place, so you decide to explore further into the Alpine River Cabins. This small resort is located south from Vault 76, right off Route 88. This cozy getaway gives you the spooks as soon as you enter the campground. You look further down the path, examining the surrounding area. The cabins are secluded, hidden from passers-by. Four decrepit shacks surround a fire pit, and in the distance, you see a small pond, flanked by a couple of abandoned boats. After exploring a bit, you discover an old guest list from back before the war, which leads you to believe that something is amiss. The list goes as follows. April 17th. Brendan and Lori Ehrenhold. Perfect place to relax for the weekend. We'll be back again soon. May 3rd, the Jefferson family. The kids loved swimming in the pond and spotting the local deer. Visitors must feed them often. They are everywhere. James, Blake, Allison, and Stephanie. Boring. There's nothing to do around here. Won't be coming back. July 15th, the Taylors. Overall, very peaceful location. We heard some weird noises the first night. Assumed it was just some teens messing around. August 5th. Jackson and Beverly Hart. Creepy noises. Bears roaming around too close at night. And I swear, the pictures on the wall were changing positions. Will not visit again. End of guest list. You gather your thoughts after those bizarre comments. You decide to head into the cabin to the left where you found the guest list. Time has not been good to this locale. Looking around, you see some of the pictures mentioned on the list and also hear some awful screaming from outside, but you can't quite pinpoint the origin. On the small table right beside the door, you spot a holotape which is titled Alpine River Cabin's Complaint. You try to get your mind off that strange occurrence and press play on the recording. Hi. This is Gabe Ramsey's, and I'm leaving this message to inform the Parks and Rec Department of the horrible experience my family and I had this week at the Alpine River Cabins. Look, we were all looking forward to a nice weekend getaway in the wilderness, but between the constant shaking in the cabins, rodent swarms, and blood-curdling screams, well, I'm more stressed than I was before. My boys were so upset they swore they saw the picture frames spinning on the walls. My tax dollars pay your salaries, so I demand recompense, or you can bet I'll do my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next election. And one more thing, maybe you could get off your lazy butts and pick up some garbage here. This place is filthy. I know all the recent hubbub about atomic war, but that doesn't mean the place has to look like it was just hit with a nuclear bomb. As the recording comes to an end, the ground shakes, almost making you lose your balance. Once again, you hear that familiar nausea-inducing screech as if it was immediately behind you. You bolt out of the cabin you were exploring, which you move to while listening to the tape. You immediately rush towards the hill to escape this madness, only to uncover an eerie treehouse hiding in plain sight. You venture up the hazardous stairs, trying to find an escape from all this series of events. You are perplexed by what you see, terminal in an isolated makeshift fort? You squat down to see what the terminal has to offer. This can't be real. It looks like someone was controlling the unnatural events going on at Alpine River cabins, but why? You hear a weird sound approaching. It sounds like bad news. It's time to leave this infernal tourist attraction as we continue to find more tales from the Appalachian Wasteland. If you enjoyed this tale, Please remember to hit that subscribe button. More will be coming soon. And don't forget, leave a comment below if you have locations in Fallout 76 that you wish me to explore. Also, go follow me everywhere, me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and of course right here where I post a new video every day in the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time.
please enjoy your stay in the Appalachian Hills. See you next time.